This week we are looking at the book of Proverbs and we're going to focus on Proverbs chapter 3. And there are quite some interesting observations we're going to make uh, in the book of Proverbs which guides us practically with wisdom. So we start with Proverbs chapter 3 verses 1 and 2. My son, do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my commands. For length of days and long life and peace, they will add to you. The book of Proverbs is a very practical book. It, it gives us practical guide for how to run our lives uh, in a godly way. And it's, it's based on observations that the children of Israel made concerning their dealings with God. And so it's a very uh, important rule to have as we begin a new year. And it teaches us very valuable lessons for everyday living. So the first thing we notice in chapter 3 verse 1 is the nature of God's word. And the passage describes the word of God as law. My son, do not forget my law. God's word is not a suggestion. And, and when we read God's word, he's not giving us an option uh, that we can exercise either to, uh, to follow or not to follow. God's word is a rule. Yes, you can decide not to follow the rule, but it is the rule. And any time you depart from it, you are departing from the rule, from the standard. The word of God is law. It's rule. And it is also a command. It's not uh, something that you can really debate or negotiate. God's word is law and God's word is a command. And the address goes to a person who is now receiving God's word. He's called my son, and we can also say my daughter. Uh, the instructions here is to, from a higher authority to a lower authority. Uh, the word of God is law and the word of God is a command. And then the second thing it says is that let your heart keep them. That means that uh, God's word is something we must hide in our hearts. It's something we must observe, something we must uh, apply to our lives, something we must live by. It is a rule by which we live our lives. And it says when we do that, there are benefits. And it says that the word of God will give us length of days long life and peace. Length of days, long life and peace. I suppose that's what we are all looking for. We want to live long, we want to have a good life, and we want to have peace with our lives. How do we do it? By seeing the word of God as a law and as a command. That is the first approach we have to God's word. So that when we come to it, we allow it to rule over our own uh, thoughts, our own desires, our own expectations. We don't take what is in our culture and, and, and let it be higher than what is in the Word of God. We don't take what we've learned in a book and, and place it higher than the Word of God. The Word of God is the law, is the rule, and it is our command. And I pray that this week as we encounter all these proverbs, practical guides from God's word, you will take it as rule and you will take it as command. Then you have long life and you're going to have a lot of peace in 2021. Let's share a word of prayer together. Say with me, Heavenly Father, your word is my instruction. Teach me how to apply your word to all aspects of my life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Let the word of God be your rule and let the word of God be your command. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.